Okay, so like I promised you earlier today, this is to um, clear all doubts about what to expect in this course. So like I said earlier, my name is Anita Bans Akute, and I'll be taking you through the fundamentals of marketing course, right? If you have access to the course outline, my contact details are there. My phone number is there. My email address is also there. That is to equip you such that if you have any challenges, you can always reach out to me. If you call and you are not able to reach me, I advise that you send a message which will be attended to as soon as I have access to the phone. But ideally, I'll prefer the text to phone calls, right? So text messages, WhatsApp messages, or emails are welcome, right? Um, like I said earlier, the name of the course is the Fundamentals of Marketing. And this course is to introduce you to the core principles and practices of marketing and its importance to both consumers and then business entities. All right. It is designed to prepare you for further study in marketing and then to equip you with the skills that are needed to perform the business rules related to marketing. Right. By the end of this course, you should be able to identify and analyze key concepts of the marketing mix and their role in strategic planning. Right. You should also be able to apply concepts of consumer behavior and business buying behavior to understand the decision making process. Number three, you should be able to segment markets and position products effectively to meet diverse consumer needs. You should also be able to develop basic marketing strategies that integrate product, price, promotion, and the distribution element. You should also be able to evaluate the evolution of marketing philosophies and their relevance to current business practices. And finally, you should be able to demonstrate the ability to think critically about the, the marketing role in meeting consumer needs, the driving business growth, and then promoting social welfare right so this we are going to do effectively in 12 weeks and for the 12 weeks that we are going to be uh, meeting i want to take us through the course content for the 12 weeks and then we would have a week for mid sem and then there will also be one week for revision all right before the end of semester exams so in week one, we'll be looking at the introduction to marketing, where we would want to understand the definition, the nature, and the scope of marketing. So in week one, we'll look at the meaning and importance of marketing. We'll look at the nature and scope of marketing, the key functions of marketing in business, the importance of marketing in modern economies, the evolution of marketing concepts, and then some philosophies of marketing related to production, product selling, marketing, and then societal concepts or orientations. Okay. Then in week two, we'll be looking at the marketing environment where we'll analyze the external forces which impact marketing strategies. So in week two, we'll be looking at the micro environment of marketing where we'll focus on consumers or customers, suppliers, and then competitors. Then we'd we'll also look at the macro environment where we we'll consider the economic, social, cultural, technological, and then political factors. Then we'll look at how to adapt to changes in the marketing environment. Remember that the marketing environment is not static. So there are always changes. So how do you adapt to these changes? We'll look at that in week two. We'll also look at the, um, the tools and methods for environmental scanning. 
Then, then we'll look at SWOT analysis. Okay, so we'll do a bit of SWOT analysis in week two. Then in week three, we'll look at consumer markets and then consumer behavior. So in week, no, that's week three, we'll look at consumer markets and then consumer behavior, where we'll explore the factors that influence consumer purchasing decisions. Okay, so here we'll look at the meaning and types of consumer markets. We'll look at the consumer buying behavior and decision-making process. We'll look at psychological factors which affect consumer behavior. So we'll look at the motivation, the perception, the beliefs, and then attitudes. We'll also consider social factors which influence consumer decisions. So you have family factors, social roles, and then groups. Then we'll look at fa personal factors like age, lifestyle, and occupation that influence the consumer's behavior. Then finally, we'll look at the cultural factors and how they impact on the consumer's choices. That will take us to week four, where we look at the business markets and the business buying behavior. So here we'll try to differentiate between consumer and business markets and examine business buying processes, okay? So we'll have an overview of business markets as they compare to consumer markets. Then we'll look at the characteristics of business markets, the types of business buying situations, okay? The model of business buyer behavior, stages of the business buying process, and then the factors which influence the business buying behavior. All right, that will take us to week five, where we now look at market segmentation, right? Where, so here we'll learn how to segment consumer and industrial markets effectively. So the topics we'll be looking at are the meaning and importance of market segmentation, the basis of segmenting consumer markets. We'll look at the geographic, the demographic, psychographic, and then the behavioral basis for segmenting consumer markets. Then we'll look at the basis of segmenting industrial markets, then characteristics of effective market segmentation, evaluating and selecting market segments, and then we'll consider a few cases for discussion. In week six, we'll be looking at market positioning and product differentiation so we we'll develop product we we'll develop positioning strategies sorry to distinguish products in the market so we'll look at the concept of positioning and its importance we'll look at positioning strategies and the basis for positioning we'll also look at differentiating products versus segmentation and then we'll look at how to create a positioning statement, right? And then we'll do perceptual mapping and brand positioning. We'll also, in, in week six, consider some um, cases, all right, in class. And then in week seven, we'll be looking at the marketing mix. So here we'll introduce the concept of the marketing mix and its elements. So we'll do the four piece of marketing. We'll do the seven piece. Then we'll look at the importance of an integrated marketing mix, the role of the marketing mix in strategy formulation. And then, like I said earlier, some cases to, um, to discuss, okay? Then in week eight, we'll be looking at product strategies. So here we'll be looking at the product development, life cycle management, and then the product mix decisions. All right, some of the topics we'll be looking at are the product classification and product mix concepts. We'll look at new product development process, the product life cycle stages and strategies. We'll look at managing products through the life cycle packaging and labeling as part of product strategy, and then the role of after-sales service in marketing. In week nine, we'll look at pricing strategies. Okay, so we'll examine pricing methods, the factors affecting pricing, and then 
the pricing policy. Some of the topics we'll look at are the meaning and importance of pricing in the marketing mix, the factors which influence price decisions. You have cost, demand, and competition. We'll analyze these factors. And then the pricing methods. Okay, we'll look at pricing policies and strategies. And we'll also consider adjusting prices and managing price changes. All right. And then finally, we'll consider some ethics in pricing. Then in week 10, we'll look at promotion strategies. Here, we will explore the role of promotional tools in influencing customer decisions. So we'll, some of the topics we'll look at are the role and importance of promotion in marketing. We'll look at the elements of the promotion mix advertising, personal selling, all of those. We'll look at the characteristics and functions of each promotional tool. Then we'll look at how to select the right promotional mix, then developing an integrated marketing communication strategy. In week 11, we'll look at distribution strategies. So we'll look at the distribution channels and logistics in ensuring product availability. Okay. So some of the topics we'll look at are the meaning and importance of distribution in the marketing mix, the types of distribution channels, the channel structure and channel intermediaries. We'll also look at the factors which affect the choice of distribution channels. Okay. We'll also look at logistics and supply chain management in distribution and then some case studies for discussion. Right then, in week twelve, which will be our final um, session, we'll be looking at the emerging trends in marketing. So we'll have the we'll look at the latest trends reshaping marketing strategies. Okay, so some of the topics we'll look at are digital marketing, consumer centric marketing, and personalization. We'll look at ethical marketing and corporate social responsibility. We'll consider green marketing and sustainable practices. We'll look at the impact of globalization on marketing strategies. And then um, we'll do a review, basically. The mode of delivery of this course is through lectures, discussions, and presentations. The presentations will be student-led presentations. If I say student-led presentations, what it means is that I'll give you a lecture, right? But we'll be having more of presentations from you. So for every topic that will trigger, or for every week that we will be meeting, we are going to be having presentations. The topics will be given to you before the class so that you can prepare adequately for the presentations. The presentations will be group presentations. So when we meet, we will be asked to form groups. So course rep will help me to form groups in your class, and then we'll be having weekly group presentations, all right? And that will form part of your internal assessment. So for this course, end of semester exams is 60 marks, mid semester exams, you have 20 marks, and then internal or assignments, you have 20 marks. The assignments will consist of your presentations, the group discussions, and then your attendance and participation. So attendance, participation, discussions, and then the presentations will give you the 20 marks for the assignment, right? So once you know you have done all activities for the class, you are sure that you have some marks that will cushion you. You do, you do your mid -sem and you do very well in the mid -sem, at least 18 in the mid -sem. End of semester exams, if you get a good score, you are sure of your A. And I believe that everyone in the class should aim for an A in this course, okay? I, it's something that you can do, right? You just have to be serious, be in class, pay attention, participate in everything that the, um, the group will be assigned, all right? Don't be passive in your group. Be very active. Because if you are passive in the group, I will notice it. I have a way of identifying all those passive group members. 
So I, I would encourage you, if you find yourself in a group, to be active in the group and participate in all the activities, right? So that's how your assignment will be will be graded, right? You have your attendance, your discussions, presentations, and then your participation, right? End of semester and mid semester, the dates will be announced um, in due course. Materials for this course will be shared with you on the LMS. So once the LMS is activated, all the resources for this um, course will be uploaded there. For those of you who are comfortable with printing out, you can feel free and print out the documents so that you can use. Otherwise, I'll encourage you to make use of the soft. Okay, no need to print out. In any case, if you feel comfortable printing out, please feel free print out and then um, let's, let's learn together, all right? Some reading materials have been, have been put here for you. You can have access to them in the library, okay? So you, you have an idea, all the topics we'll be treating in this course. So I will encourage you to go to the library, get the books and start reading. All right, remember that we'll be having weekly presentations. So as you read, then you are preparing yourself ahead of the, the class, right? I am sure that as you listen to this and you, you are done, there are likely to be questions. Feel free to drop the questions on our WhatsApp page. I will address the questions as and when they, they come up, all right? So I wish you all the best, and I hope that you enjoy this course. I, antici I anticipate a very lively class and a very interactive class. I enjoy interactive sessions. So I look forward to meeting you in person and um, enjoy your, your evening, right? I hope that I'll meet you, God willing, next week. If you have any questions, please drop the questions in the chat on our WhatsApp page, right? Thank you all very much. Bye-bye. All right.